Hey, this is Pastor James coming to you with a midweek message to lift you up and give you encouragement. And at the end of this, I'm going to share some big news in the life of Highlands Church that is coming up just this week, and also stuff that happened just a few days ago that is some of the most amazing stuff I've encountered in my entire ministry. Now, the message that I'd like to share with you this week is simple, that you will be what you see. It's that simple. You know, the people that I see that are are working really hard in a certain way, their muscles will develop in specific ways to match the work that they do. People who actually uh, think a lot, they read a lot, they're going to be exercising those muscles. And in fact, if they don't ever talk to other people, they're going to have a hard time using those parts of their brain that activate their mouth. So they actually become quite awkward socially. So, but each of us can actually accentuate uh, who we are based on what we emphasize with our mind or with our muscles. And the same thing is true with our eyes. When we see something, we are copycats. We emulate. And the question I'd like you to think about right now is this. Who or what are you looking to for information on a regular basis? Where do you go for your information? Now, I know this seems like a, you know, kind of a broad question, but I really want you to think about it. I'll bet you a good way for you to figure that out is to open the browser on your, on your phone or on your uh, uh, web device, whatever you use. I don't think there's such a thing as a web device. But you can open that up, and you can look, and you can find out what it is that you regularly turn to for information. Um, when I was a kid, there was an ad campaign called Be Like Mike, and it featured a little kid sitting next to Michael Jordan and looking at Michael Jordan eating cereal. And the implication was that by the kid looking at Mike and eating cereal, he would become like Mike. Now, of course, that ad campaign worked. It grew a lot of people who would eat cereal, and it also grew a big fan base for Michael Jordan, who was the hero at the time. And even today, people still look to Michael Jordan. They talk about him as though he's, you know, just, just bigger than life. Why? Yeah, partly because of his accomplishments, but a lot because of what people saw in those advertisements and the way that they tried to get you to think. Now, here's the thing. Looking at Michael Jordan's one thing. Probably a good idea for basketball. But this is a scripture in Ephesians that I want to share with you today. And it says these words. Therefore, imitate God like dearly loved children, like that little child looking up at Michael Jordan. Live your life with love, following the example of Christ, of Jesus, who loved us and gave himself for us. He was a sacrificial offering that smelled so sweet to God. Now, the first thing that I want to share with you is this. If you want to imitate God, imitate Jesus. Until Jesus, people really tried to imitate God, but they came up with ideas that basically they could never possibly do that, and they were essentially right. Then Jesus showed us that it was possible to live perfectly and godly in life because Jesus is God. And he came and he showed us how to do that, and then he even gave us his power and spirit to do that. And so, essentially, if you want to imitate God, imitate Jesus. Now, what does that look like? In our scripture today, it says these things. First, live with love. Live with love. And secondly, give of yourself to others. That's how Jesus lived his life. Now, take those truths with you. Reflect on that. Think about how you can live with love right now in your office place or in line at the store or wherever you're at. Think about how you can selflessly give to others. That's how Jesus lived his life. And that's how we are called to live ours. Now, I want to share you some big stuff that's happened this past week and that is coming up. First of all, we have this awesome fundraiser on September 26th, which is a Sunday evening. And it is at the Barrel House Brewery, and it is for Highlands Church. Now, I want to emphasize, please, please, please get excited about this. Buy tickets for this. This is going to be a big opportunity. Now, I remember... Um, uh, I remember a great joke about a guy who said, you know, God, every day, God, I want to win the lottery. I want to win the lottery. And then, you know, he gets to heaven and says, God, why didn't I win the lottery? And God says, you never bought a ticket. You know, a lot of people are expecting God to do big things in their lives, but 
But the first step in seeing God do, do big things in their life is to actually show up, show up, and, 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 and experience what God is going to do. So I'm not even going to predict all the amazing things that will happen that night, but I know that when people show up and that they're expectant of God doing great things, God does big, amazing things. Now, here's an example of that, beach baptisms. This is a picture of the beach baptism, and the 88 people in the picture, plus the other 10 or 12 that attended that weren't in the picture, that all drove through fog this last Sunday. It was, as some people told me, socked in. It was completely clouded out. You're driving through deep, intense fog to get there. And then when we arrived at the beach, the sun came out, Everybody said it felt like a miracle. And then, lo and behold, 24 people were baptized. We thought maybe three or four, five, six might be baptized, but 24 people came with their families and their friends. And then, during the baptisms, there were easily hundreds of pelicans, thousands of birds, seals everywhere, and then large dolphins, which I've come to learn are called porpoises, were swimming around in the waters around us. And I'm telling you, all those people were so thankful that they showed up. Every single person I've met from that day has said, I will remember that for the rest of my life. I'm glad I can share a little window of it with you right now. And it didn't hurt to finish with delicious food, hot dogs and s'mores and kids playing until sunset. Now, here's a couple of the other things that are happening at this church. Show up to them. See what God is going to do. Women's Night of Worship. It's inside Highlands Church here at the worship space on Friday at 7 o'clock. We want you to be there. We want you to enjoy what God is doing and celebrate the good things God is doing in our community. So you are welcome. Women, come. There's no cost to this. Just come. You See the register button? You don't have to register. It's nice for us to know if you're coming, but don't have to do that. And all the information on all this stuff is on our app. Okay, one other thing I want to share with you. The Highlands Hike. We are starting a new series this Sunday where I will be laying out the vision for Highlands Church, therefore. And one of the things that we are going to be talking about as part of that vision is how Jesus laid out that vision by bringing his disciples to the top of a mountain. And so we thought, what a great opportunity for us as a church, the whole church, to do a hike together up Bishop's Peak. Just down the road from here, it's a 45-minute hike up, 45-minute hike back. And if you can even get 10 feet up the trail, we would love to have you be there to be a part of what we are doing because it is about getting, getting to the mountain and, and doing what we can to get up the mountain and doing it with Jesus and with one another. So please, please, please put that on your calendar. And then finally, men. I have heard people say, you know what? This kayak trip, this kayak trip, I'm not sure. I'm telling you, I went on the kayak trip two years ago and I was so sad that it wasn't happening last year. So this, I cannot emphasize enough, is one of the best experiences you could possibly have in your life. If there's any, any financial reason you're not going, please, with any of these things, let us know. We want you there. We will do whatever we can to bring you to the table. So we don't want anybody, anybody, anybody to say they can't go for any reason that is uh, tied to money or anything else like that. And so this kayak trip is awesome. Ben, do you want to say anything about the kayak trip? What do you think? I do. And guess what? I've got a camera back here. And this is kind of fun. A lot That's of people like to hear. Should I show them a little sneak peek of what's back here? <laughs> this is kind of fun. We I actually think it's moved. Cool. Some of you asked why our, our sound booth is so much smaller. It's because we moved um, a lot of our stuff back here now. Um, but yeah, the kayak trip, it's amazing. It's fun. It's the pinnacle of events for men's ministry at Highlands. And so, um, as James said, we we actually have, um, I don't know, 15 or 20 signed up. We hope to take about 30 or 35, and and um, we don't want you to miss it. It's one of the best things that happens. I look forward to it every year. James has been. Um, most of us have been. And it's time to go again. So, yeah. that's it. Yeah. And you don't have to be He-Man. You don't have no. to be so physically fit, you know. Don't let any of that stuff intimidate you. We have had guys go on this trip. And yeah, it's, it's a challenge, but we are in it together and we get there together and we have a great time. And there's one of my favorite things, Ben, is sleeping by the ocean, really like 10, 15 feet by the waves in that 
harbor. And it's so beautiful. It just puts you to sleep and it just feels yep. so, um, so yeah. renewing. I it's just like, love the experience. It's paradise ish. It's yeah, pretty amazing. It does feel like that. So that's what we have. We have some of those things. There's so much more. Uh, please uh, get the app if you can. It's a church center app. And it's a really, really simple thing to download. Um, we'll, we'll send you directions on that, instructions on that. Uh, just ask us. We'll help you download it on Sunday. But it's a great place where you can get every little bit of information about Highlands. So good things. Big vision talk this weekend. Big women's night this Friday. Please, just whatever you can do right now, take a moment and pray for all of them because there's so much need out there. The world is not the way it's supposed to be. And this is our opportunity to step up, get up the mountain, and obey the words of Jesus to, to love people and support them and walk alongside them here in the valley. All right, God bless. Take care.